Since I started this channel 5 years ago, I received thousands of comments and messages, with general opinions about this kind of motorcycle. And why did I read them? Because I like to know, what cafe racer enthusiasts think. This allowed me to discover, that there are several myths about them. Some of them are true. But there are also the fake ones. And that's what we are going to clarify today. The 5 most fake facts about cafe racer machines. Welcome to Racer TV. I bet you thought for a moment that this Honda CX was fake. But it isn't. This toy has even a specifications list. It might look like a toy, but only for big boys. So, let's start with the fake fact number one. Are all cafe racers uncomfortable? No. Not all of them. If someone is building a custom motorcycle, it is natural that the riding position needs to be suited to the rider's size. Just like a tailored suit. The main goal to get a good riding position, is the rider's weight distribution. The secret, is finding a good weight distribution through the arms, the backside, and the legs. In other words, the rider's weight has to be proportionally distributed, to avoid too much pressure on any of these three points of the body. But if you are a purist who likes skinny seats, very low handlebars, or long fuel tanks, there are no miracles. Or if you are a short rider using a big motorcycle, there will be limitations to get a good riding position. I am not saying, that a cafe racer is comfortable enough for a long trip. But with care, it will be proper for a one hour trip, without feeling an agonizing pain on your body. And what about dirt tires? Is this a stupid choice for a cafe racer? Not exactly. Unless you pick tires like these. But I am sure we are talking about something in the middle. A kind of tire, that can be useful off-road, and still have enough grip for tarmac turns. And what is the advantage of having tires like these on a cafe racer machine? In some motorcycles, and in what concerns to the aesthetics, it might be an excellent solution. I am talking about the kind of motorcycle, in which it is very difficult to change the original wheels. Just like the BMW R series. The rims of these motorcycles, are usually very narrow, which forces us to choose thin tires. And considering we are dealing with big and heavy motorcycles, it is not visually attractive. Therefore, choosing adventure tires, might be an excellent solution to increase the size of the tires, without changing the original rims. I recognize it is not the ideal solution. But in cases like I mentioned, it is a perfectly reasonable option. Speaking about options, let's see if you guess the next myth. Cafe racers cannot be a two-seater. 
This is probably the most popular excuse to avoid having a cafe racer. And it is also the most common reason to make someone choose a scramble a motorcycle. I recognize that there is some importance on being able to transport another person on a motorcycle. But I always believed that with some thinking and creativity, many problems can be solved. And that is precisely what I did several years ago with this Honda CB125. It is the spark of my friend Francesco. It is a proper rear cowl, which can be easily removed. And with my actual Honda CX project, I am going to try a similar approach again. This is not exactly a revolutionary formula. I remember several motorcycles from the 80s that have a removable rear cover. And now you don't have an excuse anymore to avoid a cafe racer in your garage. And here is another usual comment about cafe racers. I really believed that this myth was born after someone chose the wrong tires for his motorcycle. There are some cafe racer projects that really need some good old classic tires to get that retro charm most people like. And you can find several options on the market, such as the Coca tires, Dunlop K81, the Avon SMMK2, and the most popular, the Fires Tone Deluxe Champion. But you can also find the Shinko 270 Super Classic. I am not going to say that all these tires are good. Because after some wear, the larger the tire is, the more flat it will become. And this is the main problem that you should be aware of. Because with a flat surface like this one, the tire grip will be unstable on curves. So, if you need a good classic tire, go for those which have a more rounded shape, avoiding creased edges. This kind of edge is probably the reason of this myth's existence. And finally, the last myth. Is it that difficult to ride a cafe racer every day? So, let's get down to the bottom issue. When you have a certain kind of motorcycle, you will always have some compromises. For instance, is this motorcycle perfect for a long trip? Or is this one the best choice for city traffic? Of course not. I just want to demonstrate that each kind of motorcycle always has some limitations. And the only limitation I see on cafe racers is not having a luggage compartment for the safety gear. But even so, I still can go to work every day and leave the helmet under my desk. And if I need to carry the laptop, it is only a matter of using a backpack. I know that many of the things I've said will be always discussable for some. Because each person has different needs and priorities. This is why there are so many different kinds of motorcycles on the market. A cafe racer motorcycle may not be the best option for your needs. But with some time and creativity, it might work better than most people think. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.